You gotta have that fighting spirit, and Pueo absolutely does, and has accommodated so well to life just with one foot. So we're excited to give her a second one back. Here at Lindsay Wildlife, we specialize in special needs cases. When we got contacted about Pueo, we knew right away that we wanted to give her a home where she can live for the rest of her life, as well as help her. And as soon as I heard about Pueo's situation, that she only had her one foot, I immediately thought, well, why don't we try to give her another foot back? And that's where the Burrowing Owl Prosthetic Project started. Hi, I'm Emma Moliner, and I'm the curator of Animal Encounters at Lindsay Wildlife Experience in Walnut Creek, California. Lindsay Wildlife Experience, well, we're a lot of different things. First of all, where we're standing right now is our exhibit hall. So people can come here and view live animals up close and personal and learn a little bit about animals, nature, and conservation. But we're also a wildlife rehabilitation hospital as well. Unfortunately for Pueo, when she was seven years old, she suffered what they suspect to be an animal attack. Her caregivers down at the Living Desert Zoo and Gardens discovered that she had a broken leg. Unfortunately, the lower portion of her leg began to die, and Pueo was left with only one foot. What we thought of right away, that 3D printing was going to be probably our best option. And our folks who are helping us make this prosthetic have chosen to remain anonymous. We're able to customize a prosthetic that will work perfectly for Pueo. So then we discussed and we decided that a more curved shape would work really well because Pueo can then rest on her heel, rest on the back of that prosthetic, allowing for her to have a rocking motion as she moves forward. The prosthetic try-on went so well today. We are so excited. The prosthetic not only stayed on longer than it's ever stayed on before, we're not seeing the prosthetic rotate, which is great. That was our problem with our last iteration. While the prosthetic fit and was sized appropriately, it kept rotating and then eventually fell off. Uh, it hasn't done that. So we're really excited to see that. We're moving on really well, and I'm really excited about the progress we made today. There are animals and, of course, people with limb differences. And a lot of people, when they first see Pueo, they feel sorry for her. And that's not what it is at all. I mean, what I've learned working with this animal is that just because you are a little bit different and something is not exactly the same as everyone else doesn't mean that you're worse. What we're trying to do is help her reach her maximum potential. But this little girl with one foot or two, it doesn't matter. She's spunky, she's feisty, she's a survivor and she's an incredible teacher for the story of all the burrowing owls. I'm very, very privileged to work with her and help her and just be a part of her life in any way.